Hey, welcome back. My name is David. So as promised, I am going to show you the unboxing video of this Dual Action Orbital Polisher. All right, so we have the, I'm not sure how the name is pronounced, Griots, 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 Garage, Griots Garage uh, Polisher. And I bought this because I knew I needed to put a coat of wax or polish on the RV. The front cap was starting to show a little bit of hazing. And even though I had been taking care of it and washing it, it was starting to show a little bit of, of uh, chalkiness. So I wanted to go ahead and do it right, watch several videos, and uh, came to the conclusion to buy this one. And uh, it says here, you know, 100% guaranteed, have fun in your garage. Equipped with six inch system. Uh, we're not gonna go there. So, let's go ahead and begin the unboxing. So, uh, before I actually open it up, I noticed on the back side it kind of had like all the different um, types of cleaners you can use. Obviously, we're using the uh, the, the McGuire's uh, Marine RV cleaner wax. But it kind of shows you like an overview of the of the device. And that is pretty much it on the box. So, all right. So this is really nice, really good looking graphics. And it's got some funny, uh, some just some interesting little things here on the flaps. So, looks like a nice little greeting card. We'll look at that here in a moment. And I felt a tool. Okay, that must be a locking tool for the pad. And let's see. Okay, it looks like it's got our brush uh, replacement brushes. And a little sticker. All right. So we'll set that aside for now. Continuing on. Packaging looks good. Uh, it looks pretty solid in there. So I like that. Um, all right, there's nothing else in the box. You can, Packaging looks good. So let's just go ahead and put that back in here. Set that aside for now. All right. Okay, so one of the things that caught my eye on this one was the way they said this felt in the hand. And I can tell you it does feel comfortable using it this way. I thought there might have been a a bar on the side, but I don't see one in the packaging. I'll have to look again. But the trigger feels good. The handles, this feels great. Um, the rubber here is nice and grippy. Um, I guess you can hold it here as well. You can put your hands right here to hold it. And here. And of course then here with the trigger. Uh, it looks like you can get to the dials from either side, left or right hand. That's good. And then the power cord is right here. Alright, so this looks pretty good. I'm pleased with the purchase so far. It's also a 1000 watt motor, which is pretty good. So that's, that's a lot of power. Uh, I shouldn't worry about bogging this thing down. Uh, this is, I guess, where you go in and change the brushes of the motor. So looking at the, the card, it looks like there is a wealth of information here on different surfaces that need to be addressed and the different products, their products, of course, that you would use, along with some tips, uh, a guideline on how to apply the polish and different types of polishing compounds and sealants that you can use. So uh, this looks pretty good. There's a lot of information here. And it's all, I almost wish that it had come with a carrying case. So all this stuff could be packaged back in instead of maybe the box. One of the other things we're going to look at also are the pads that go with this. Uh, I went ahead and got the same brand as the polisher because I wasn't quite sure, again, I'm new to this, I'm not a pro. I wasn't quite sure if there was a, 
a reason to stay with the same manufacturer, like just usage. So it looks like this has a Velcro backing to it. And this has like, looks like the hooks part. So let's see how this, how this goes. All right, so it feels nice and soft. This is definitely the, uh, the, the soft side of the hook and like the Velcro. All right, so let's see, we'll put this on. All right, and yeah, that sticks on there good. So to get, <laughs> to get that off there, you, you really have to pull it off. All right, so there is the unboxing video. So overall, everything in the package feels pretty good. I was happy with uh, the way this feels. It's, it feels nice and heavy, but it's not overly heavy. It's, you know, feels well balanced. I think this would probably be the best way to, to polish like this. Okay, and so I went ahead and grabbed the, the tool because that goes right in here that locks onto the wheel. And I guess if you wanted to replace the six inch with the five inch, um, you could do so. Only bad thing I don't like about this, made in China. All right, onto the rig, to do the polishing. Okay, now that you watch the second most awesome unboxing video ever, we are gonna get started on the rig on polishing. So I'm gonna start with the front cap. And luckily for me, it has gotten cloudy, and it's very cool. So this is cool to the touch. Uh, I, this was just washed yesterday. Still feels clean. And I'm gonna show you some of the hazing and stuff that I'm seeing on the decals. I hope that was visible. So we're gonna get the old buffer out and give it a try. Oh, there's a wasp. I need to get rid of that one. As I was wiping my hand over earlier, I did feel a little bit of a grit on here and I think it's just pollen. Well, yeah, right, Dave, use a little yellow one. So I am just gonna wipe it down one more time, just a little bit, just to get any uh, dust or dirt that may have accumulated overnight. There are some clear instructions here to make sure it shake well and to not do this in direct sunlight and for a cool surface. So again, no sun right now. The clouds are taking care of that and contains something that I thought was kind of interesting. I guess if you're a chemical engineer, it makes sense, but this contains a light aromatic hydrocarbon. I know a chemical engineer, I have to ask him what that means. All right, let's get to it. So based on some stuff I saw on a YouTube channel, these guys that do this stuff a lot, I'm going to dab this on here, and then I'm gonna kind of splotch it around, and then I'll start on two or three, and I'll work my way up. I'm gonna start on the center right here. Also, the initial pad is gonna to have to start soaking in some of the, uh, the solution there. the first time I've ever used one of these and I can already tell you just uh, so far it feels pretty comfortable in the hands it doesn't feel real heavy I did bump up the speed from two and three to about five Let's take a look at it and see how it um, how they compare side by side all right let's take a look at together all right so this is the area I just did I tried to kind of keep it down the center line here. I did it from about here down uh, through the graphics. Again, keeping the center line. And I can already tell you 
this feels amazingly slick okay even the graphics right looks cleaner yeah okay so i'm gonna try to show you the best i can reflections or something uh, if you can see my hand here let's just use my hand as a reflection reflection so this is the polished side and we're going to go over to the unpolished side so i think you can just you can almost see the line let's try from a different angle unpolished to polished but yeah i can already see a difference in this i hope it shows up in video kind of hard to tell it's such a light color but it did do wonders also on the graphics which i was a little concerned about because i wasn't quite sure uh, how it would handle and i'm not using a very uh rough gritty um cleaner it's pretty mild because i didn't have a whole lot of oxidation but i just wanted to get this taken care of because we were seeing some oxidation up here on those graphics because that's the sun's probably beating that to death and then we got beat up by bugs and stuff last year so i'm having a lot of spots on my graphics here that's starting to show through so all right back to work All right, so I have gotten pretty much like below the 150 series uh, graphics, that all the way down. Uh, maybe, I mean, between recording and just hooking everything up, I've got maybe 20 minutes maybe into this. And it is a noticeable difference. So I'm happy. I'm happy with the, um, the proper, I think, solution. At this point, I don't think I need anything really aggressive. I'm just trying to polish and clean up. And uh, I'm happy with the, the buffer. Or in this case, really, it's the dual action polisher. So, uh, so far, so good. So we'll go back into turbo mode. And well, let's go check on the pups. Let's see what they're doing. Denver, Andy, aha, there's Denver. And Andy's, aha, there they are. Come here, guys. <laughs> Hey. Denver, put you to work. Yeah, that's what I thought. Alrighty, Annie, I'm getting back to work. Alright, let's go. So, since I was climbing up and the graphics were worse up top, I thought maybe this would be the time to climb up here and show before and after so here's our before and you can see hopefully you can see the haze in that let's wipe it clean I feel pollen all over it all right let's have at it Okay, so we have finished this quadrant. Actually, this whole side now is complete. And if you can see, I'm gonna show you the comparison. The graphics here have cleaned up quite a bit. They could probably use, I, I was very gentle on the graphics. I, I didn't know how aggressive the, the uh, polisher was gonna be. So it might be able to use another another buffing but let's move over to the unbuffed graphics side and i hope that you can see the difference see how hazy that is and that's not dirt that's haze and i mean i scrubbed that thing yesterday so i'm going to move my ladder over here 
And I'm going to get that done and this should complete the cap. Okay, the verdict. Okay, so the never never using a polisher before and never polishing an RV before, uh, especially, or a gel coat of any kind, uh, and with graphics. Okay, so what I found is it's okay. I think it needs to be more. These graphics cleaned up pretty good. The haze is mostly removed. All of this feels great. It's starting to rain, of course. Of course. And uh, this graphic here could use a little bit more hmm, buffing. I, I might need to get a little stronger compound. I don't know. I'm going to, have to ask a pro to find out and get some, get some uh, ideas. But the paint, the fiberglass paint here, the fiberglass, that feels nice. That's nice and slick. I mean, it reminds me of mold, mold cars after I'd wax it. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this as a to be continued because I'm starting to get some rain, and obviously I don't want a thousand watt motor in my hand if it starts to downpour. All right, well we'll catch up later and we'll do this again or finish up the rig and get the final conclusion.